Hey everyone, it's Audrey with AudreyAstoic.com where I share about faith, family, and crafting. So in today's video, it's actually an updated video from a um, tutorial that I did, I guess a couple years ago, on how to download fonts onto your iPad. Well, just like technology, it's always changing and I'm hearing from a lot of you that the steps that you need to take have changed and will I please do a new video? And so that's what I wanted to do. So today what we're gonna be using for the app uh, on downloading the font is going to be any font. Now there are some other free ones that you can use, but I've just used this for a few years. It does cost you money and it is just well worth it. It's what I use. Uh, so before you do start doing this though, make sure that you have that any font, download it onto your iPad. As before, we are gonna be using Defont because I've heard from several of you also that you're having trouble with downloading the fonts from Defont. And I'm just gonna walk you through the entire new process and steps of how to do that, okay? So if this video helps you in any way, as always, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider hitting that subscribe button and then that bell button so that you're notified every time that I uh, upload one of these videos to the channel. And if you have any comments or questions or it's still not working, be sure to leave them below and I will do my best in answering your questions, okay? So without further ado, let's just jump right in and get those fonts downloaded onto your iPad. All right, so here we are on my iPad, and of course, first things I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is go to Defont, and so I use Google Chrome, or you can use your Safari. So let me just go in there, and I'm already on Defont, and just looking at these. Uh, fonts right here. I'm just going to choose one quickly and we'll go with great wishes because I kind of do like that font. So I'm just going to click on download and a lot of these uh, steps are going to be a lot like the um, old video as well. So you'll see right here down here it says great wishes and download. So I'm going to tap on the download again. All right, so you're going to tap on open in and then you're going to find the any app by tapping on this the three little dots with more and then you'll get all of these apps and just find your uh, copy to any font so remember you definitely want to download any font first okay so here it is and let's look for it great wishes okay so it is here and just to let you know these are ones if it has a check mark beside it i've already installed this on my ipad okay so these other ones i have not yet but uh so here's the great wishes and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to tap right there on that little arrow and now I get tap a button to install. So I'm just gonna tap on that install. Now, this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow it? Allow. And I don't believe that this was um, one of the steps in the older video. So now that you have profile downloaded, review the profile in settings app if you want to install it. And now this is that extra step that you have to take. So we're gonna click on close. And as mentioned, with that pop-up, you have to go to settings, but you're gonna go to settings, general, and profiles. So let's go ahead and do that by you know tapping on our little home button. Let's get back to our home screen. Now we're gonna click on settings and it usually opens you right up to your general right here. Now you might think that you wanna to go to fonts, but you don't. You actually want to scroll down to where it says profiles. So tap on profiles and now your downloaded profile that you just downloaded is right here. So now what you're gonna do is tap on that and the following steps are the same steps that you would take. So you're gonna tap on install, enter your passcode of your iPad, if you have that set up, of course. Next, you're gonna say next, tap on next. The profile is not signed, so you're, you're gonna click install. It's asking you, are you sure you want to install the profile? Yes, we want to install the profile. 
And now you're gonna tap on done. And now your great wishes font is down here. Now let's go to our design space app by going back to the home screen, tapping on Cricut. Now I do wanna mention, if you had Cricut open and you downloaded this, you want to um, close out the Cricut Design Space app and then reopen it and it should be there. I know a couple of people were asking, you know, they downloaded it and then Cricut, um, they would go back to their Cricut, but their Cricut was open. And it works like that on the desktop also. So if you do download a font and you have the Cricut app or even the Cricut open on your computer, then you're gonna have to shut down the Cricut and then reopen it and it should be there, okay? So we're gonna tap on Cricut and I'm just gonna do new projects. Tap on the text right here. And now we're gonna go to system because this is all of your system fonts, all the fonts on your iPad. And we had great wishes. So I'm just gonna tap within there and I'm just gonna start typing it in. And there it is. So I'm gonna tap on that. And let me just start, I'll just put in my name and tap off of it. And there is my name using the um, font that we just downloaded, okay? All right, there you guys have it. Hopefully that helped you and um, it's updated and hopefully they don't change these uh, directions and this these processes and steps again. If they do, I'll be sure to jump right back in and do another video, an updated video. If this helped you in any way, um, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next video, y'all be blessed. Bye.